dialogue. Women, you frustrate me sometimes. You get me 100 percent frustrated. Don't feel sorry for me, feel sorry for yourself. You see the thing is, I saw one babe one time, it's not even just one babe. You know, girls, you do things that confuses my brain. You see a boy with his girl, they are walking, they are smiling, they are shaving. Why must you now feel the need to go and be romantic for them? Oh, they're so cute. They are not cute. You haven't even checked the guy's face most of the times. Because you can see opposite sex holding hands. Some people need facial improvements. Let us be honest. In fact, let me ask one question. If you believe everybody is pretty, can you say yes? Yes! You are lying to your soul. Your soul is attacking you for lying right now. There are some people that when you see them, you just say, wow, what happened? There are some people that you see, you say, mm, there's hope. Let's keep it with all of you sitting here, you know where you stand. Let me tell you something. If somebody ever asks you, do I look nice? That person, there's no hope for that person again. Because when you look good, you know within yourself. You look good. You don't need confirmation from anybody. So I just wanted to let you know that one. We said, let's keep this thing moving. Let's answer your face. You know. <laughs> say, out to I like you. Out to something. Not everybody out there cares about you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some people are very wicked, <laughs> very evil, and they be smiling your face. They will make you believe that you are a team. That if anything happens, they will support you. One of my uncle tried to sacrifice me for Juju. Confused, you are baffled, you don't know whether you are going to make it, you wonder what everybody is going to say. I want to quickly ask a question before I get into it. Does anybody remember a while ago on Facebook there was an, an incident where a goat was arrested in Nigeria? Something similar, similar like that wanted to happen to me. But this time they wanted to use a cow for me instead. I was at my uncle's house one particular day. We are sharing. We are watching um, the football. I think Asana against another team like this. We are watching that match. And you know those ones where your instinct is telling you you need to leave this place. <laughs> no, on the serious note, when your instinct is talking to you, please don't disobey it. My instinct was telling me leave this place. <laughs> but this is Uncle Kukule. <laughs> never ever maltreat me. He is never ever evil to me. So I'm thinking, wait, what could possibly be wrong? Let me enjoy myself, let me shit. <laughs> I shit there, yeah, we get some bread there yeah, on the side, we get some amala, we get some coke and everything, we get some haribo. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> All the insulting. Uncle Kunde decided to now tell me, this is when my heart began to beat a bit fast. He just turned around to me. My boy, listen to me quickly. What will happen? I'm going upstairs for one hour. You will remain here. You must not leave this seat. You will remain here. I'm going to do certain spiritual jobs upstairs. If you move, I will know. You know those ones where your heart begins to beat? Boom, 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 boom. I quickly begin to pray. Heavenly Father, any spirit that wants to destroy me, I pray you destroy them. Amen. 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 But you know those ones where you are still moving parallel, you are still shook a bit. So, you know, I changed the channel, you know, I think I watched the Scooby Doo or something like that. Or the, or the television. So, I'm watching Scooby Doo, Shaggy, and uh, those man, they yeah, were doing their thing. <laughs> so, I was enjoying myself there, you know. And it's one of those ones where I just had my uncle talking to a mirror upstairs. And he was literally shouting my name. But you know those ones where they shout your name as if to say you owe them money. He was shouting my name in one demonic sort of voice. You know those ones where you quickly do another prayer just to remind God about the first prayer you did. 
Heavenly Father, this is just a reminder. We are practicing to do upstairs and you want to drink me. Heavenly Father, please, can you come and rebuke me? No weapon from against me shall prosper. <laughs> At that moment, my leg, it just froze. You know those ones where you are able, you are moving. My leg, this one. <laughs> it just froze. I look at it. I said, what's going on? What, what, what's the meaning of this? Then all I had my uncle doing was laughing. <laughs> laughing. I could not do another prayer again. I said, Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to be alive for 22 years. It was a pleasure. Unfortunately for me, it looks as if I am going because I have prayed to you once, twice, and you haven't answered my prayer, which is why my leg is in this situation. Please, Heavenly Father, even though I have just done an angry prayer, please, can you forgive me? Please? If you see two to three minutes later, my leg was able, I quickly left that house. I kept it moving. I think I went back there again. I changed my mobile number. He is looking for me. I deleted from Facebook. Why must you have a way of contacting me? That's wrong. That's dead. <laughs> you know, it's one of those ones there. It's one of those ones there. You know. In fact, Uncle, guitar, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, ready? Give us something. Give us something. Wait till then. All right, all right. Are we feeling that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, I want to ask you a question, man to man. If you see a babe, and you just have a guitar, and you can't talk English, what will you play to get the attention? Go for it. So remember, she's walking casually. She can't see you, so you have to make sure she turn around. You are not doing the trick, over. <laughs> get him up, get him up. Yes. Two G. Something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but let's give it a go. Come on, Tunji, come on. It's okay, you are lucky, you are not okay. As I was saying, as I was saying, please think carefully so that you can consume what I am saying. You know, it's one of those ones where fire broke out in the crib. In the crib? Oh! We are cooking a pizza. You know those ones where we have had a late night out? He said, let's go in, you know, let's pick, let's warm a pizza in the oven. Everybody is feeling sleepy. We fall asleep, isn't it? Now, this my nigga, he has offended me in the previous day. I wanted to talk to one babe, but he called block me. 
Joshua, I'm upset. I haven't forgiven him. The house catches fire. Do you think I woke him up? <laughs> I phoned his mobile half an hour later just to make sure. He, so he didn't pick up. But your business is uh, Blackberry status, so it should be okay anyway. I just thought I would share that with you. I, I, I have no regrets for doing what I did. He, he deserves it. I understand he deserves it. So the message there, revenge is not good, everybody. Make sure, make sure uh, if anybody offended you, you, you don't take law into your own hand. You understand? The only time you take law into your own hand is um, if somebody violates your family. You understand? Like the other day, we was in Neto, Peckham. Does anybody know Peckham? Unfortunately. Somebody tried to push him in front of my mom in the queue. My mom is carrying a bag of potato. Just come on, potato. Come on. You let her go and pay for what she needs to pay for. Don't piss me off. Don't get me out. Those times I was getting agitated. And you know those Jamaicans? Jamaicans, where are you? Somebody push in front now. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Common sense is not common. I won't lie to you, I'm not going to gas. You see this guy that was hiding to my mom? God is watching me. On a normal day, I will not fight him. No way. This guy was so big and muscly. I said, we already know the outcome before I fight this guy. The guy was hyping high. But you know those ones where there's a long queue? Everybody wants to see some drama. I said, it's been a long time since I've slumped somebody. I just pick up the cucumber and I licked it inside his head. The guy just dropped dead. Well, I don't know whether he's dead, but he was there for at least half an hour anyway.